all about what I've been doing recently. This is what, day nine? So on day six, I like didn't do anything. I was feel I was feeling fluey, so I just didn't really do anything because I've been here for two weeks. I've got time. Day seven, on the night we went to the night market, which is where you saw the scorpions and the snakes. That was crazy. Because right next to it is like this huge upmarket shopping place with like Rolex and Prada and all sorts. So it's like you just go down a street and you see all of these like scorpions and snakes. And day eight, which is yesterday. Uh, oh, hang on, no, that's not right. So today's Chinese New Year's, I don't know, the day after. And it's really busy. Which is crazy because on Chinese New Year's Day yesterday and New Year's Eve, there was like nothing going on, like nothing was happening at all. And obviously, all tourists have come here to celebrate the Chinese New Year. There's just nothing happened. So, yeah. So, yeah, as I was saying, on day six, seven, I can't remember. It was the day before last that we went to the food market. What was the day before that? I can't even remember. Yesterday, though, I didn't really do anything. Again, I wasn't really feeling very well, so I just went to the bar. And then, the day before that, went to, oh, went to the summer palace. And that was really nice. That was like huge. That was like ridiculously big. Right now, I'm just waiting on some food. It's technically my breakfast, but it's not breakfast at all. So I'll show you what I get. Okay, so here's a fun fact about the Summer Palace. So basically, he built it as a birthday present to his mother, the Emperor did. Which is crazy, because like, if you've seen how big the Forbidden City is, there's more than enough room for his farm in there, or to have like a little place. But no, you have to build this huge Summer Palace. So I can't remember if I've already said this, but Chinese New Year is more like Christmas, in that people go home to spend it with their families, and that's probably why there wasn't anything happening, that's why it was like super empty yesterday, but today they're just like basically looking around the city, so that's why there's like loads of people everywhere today. Okay, so this is Jingshan Park, it took me a while to walk up here, so let's see what this is like. And it shows you how big the um, Forbidden City is as well. So now I'm heading to Bay High Park. Let's see what that's like.
day 12 of night 12 in Beijing. I've been here far too long. Uh, I didn't really do anything yesterday, like at all really. I'm off to a Kung Fu show because it's supposed to be really good tonight. Um, and earlier I just got a SIM card, which was a hassle. Everything's a hassle in Japan. Uh, what are you thinking ahead? In China. So I'll take some, I'm um, hopefully take some videos of this Kung Fu show. take any videos or pictures so that's why they might be a bit I haven't looked at them yet so they might be a bit wobbly or something because I took them like a bit sneakily that was good it flew by but it was worth it definitely 